Hello everyone. Welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. Today we are going to be doing Oh goodness. I'll get it together in a minute. Today we are going to be doing this hummingbird mold. Oh, and there goes some glitter. This was in one of the packages to where the glitter spilt everywhere and even though I've cleaned this mold with water there's still glitter everywhere oh well okay so today uh, we're gonna use some UV resin that I made myself with the JD addiction this is my gold I've got blackout just in case I need it my peacock blue color I have red purple and green. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use it, but we will see. I think the glitter is on my gloves too and it's just getting everywhere. Okay, so I guess kind of want to get the gold in his beak there. I think I'm going to just color his whole beak gold. Just put a line down it. Just let me get a paper towel. And I have, I'm, this mold holds four ounces of resin. I have it in the debubbler now. Or the chamber. Okay, so I'm going to just try, I'm going to just, it's a little thing down here. He's got a little indentation. Oh, Jesus. He didn't want to do that. I want to put the gold oh, it's still on there just right in his little beak area this is the one I have made up wait a minute is this the gold why does it not have that much sparkle in it now maybe all I think all the glitter settled to the bottom on that one I should have shook it up oh well where's my mini light here I'm going to get him cured up I just want to get a little different color sparkle in his beak here. And then we're going to work from there. Maybe I should, with the UV glues, maybe I should turn the sparkle one upside down when I store it. Yeah. I have a feeling I should store him upside down. I'm going to put the cap on him and oh, shake it a little bit there. I kind of want it to uh, or I can just add some more to it too I kind of want it to get let's see I know I want to put a little gold in his footsies here he's got a little claw there all right let me see what we have now okay it's still not coming the glitter is not coming through like I want it Oh my goodness so I'm gonna put some more glitter in this UV resin yes I am because he is not sparkling the way I want him to and I'm just gonna get my stick and stir it up in there the best I can now I've got more glitter everywhere Maybe I should have stirred it up beforehand. Oh well. It will be fine. Yeah, because I don't think I had. I just. Alright. Now I've got gold glitter everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. All right, let's try this again. Let me put. I'm gonna put some more right here. It won't kill it. There we go. There goes my glitter. All right, get you in there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna store the glitter ones upside down when I store them, so the glitter doesn't all go to the bottom. Or you can just take a stir stick and stir them up as well. Alright, I'm going to just get this real quick. It shouldn't move on me because it's staying. Yeah. 
All right, and I want to put a little bit in his little foot area here. And little toesies. Okay, that's good. Yeah, just right in there. Um, I might put some, there's five dots right here. I think I'm going to put some gold right there as well. And then after that, I'm going to go for one of the other colors. I think I might do purple right here. All right, let me go check the resin real quick. Oh, let's see if the bubbles are coming out. All right, we are good to go. All right. All right, we have bubble free resin. Woohoo! Bubble free resin. All right, back to what I was doing. Okay, I did the gold. Oh, you know what? I, oh, maybe I won't. Maybe I will. I'm going to just shake these resins up a little bit. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. There we go. And this is my red. I think I'm going to do the dots in red. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, instead of the gold, I think I'm going to just leave that for the feet and the beak. Oops. Let me get my light ready because he wants to move. He's a little bit on an angle there. A wee bit on an angle. Dang it, I got a bubble. Put a little bit more right there. There we go. Okay, do I want to do anything else in red? I don't know. Okay, get this cured up real quick. And those bottles make it so easy to control. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to do black for his eyeball. Alrighty, where's his eyeballer? Oh, it's right there. Just need a little drop. It's not that dark of a black, but it'll be dark enough. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. He's got a little old bridge there. Dang it. Dang it. Yeah, he done went everywhere else but where he should have went. Had to wipe that out. A wee bit there. Oh, get a little alcohol wipe that out. I don't want to loosen his eye. Come on now. Okay. Alrighty. I didn't want to loosen his eyeball. Alright, and that's the black. So I'm going to put the black up. I just wanted a little bit for his eye. Now, let me see here. I think I'm going to start with the um, purple right in here. Or should I do green? Oops. No, because I think I might do green on the body. Like right in here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do purple right here. If I can get it stirred up a little bit. Okay. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to just do purple right in here. Okay, I want to get that cured right there so it doesn't run out. And I see a bubble. I see a bubble. Get out of there, Mr. Bubble. I can't get the bubble out. I think I got him. I think I got him. Try to get this down in here a little bit, like where it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, I got the bubble. I don't see him no more. Yay. Crazy bubble. And I'm going to go over, once we do all of this, the UV resin, I'm going to go over it with the Let's Resin um, Mica Powder in the Violet. No, not Mica Powder, Chameleon Powder in the Violet. So we are going to, whatever doesn't get UV resin is going to get chameleon powdered. Alright. And once I get all this laid in, it, I'm going to fully cure it for like three minutes up under the bigger lamp. Okay, do I want any more purple? Um, maybe a little bit of what do we have? No, you know what? No, I'm going to just leave that purple. Yeah. I want the peacock blue next. What is this? That's the gold. That's the purple. Black. Don't need that. I've got green and red. I do have a regular blue, but you know what? Maybe I should put some of this regular blue. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to start off with... Oh, let me see here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a, the darker blue right there. I think I'm going to do... Let me look at the color first. See how we're going... Okay, yeah. I think I'm going to start with the darker blue right in here. Pesky bubble. Okay, Let's see if I can get this bubble out. I don't want to see you in there, buddy. Okay, any more bubbles? No. Okay. So, I am going to... Let's see, did I get that all the way? No, I didn't. But I will just put a little bit more in there. I'm gonna, oops. Dang it. He kind of ran out there. Yeah. Okay, let me see what I can do here. He kind of ran over the side here. I don't see none of my things. I don't know where nothing is right now. For some reason or another. Can't find anything today. It's the way it is sometimes. Sometimes you just can't find anything. Okay, I just need to get this little bitty bit out. And once it cures, you can just, yeah, it just comes right off once. Oops, and then I just pulled the whole thing out with it. Well, that just got on my last nerve. 
Come here, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to have to take all this out. Because it's done got on my nerves and it's done loosened up. And some of it hasn't cured in the middle. Yep, getting on my nerves here, buddy. You're getting on my nerves. There we go. Where did my alcohol go? Okay. Okay, you know what? This is becoming a headache. All because you want to jump ship on me. Now this one has done came loose. Okay. You know what? Go start this over. Well, I tell you, these little UV things are very... Eh. They are sick. Okay, we had the purple. Go back over it with the purple. And there go a big old bubble. He popped up. Yay! He popped. He popped. He popped. He popped. Do not want that running over. Oh, where's my dotting tool? They've all gone missing. Why? Try to get this into here before it cures because it's got little indentations in it there. Okay. Can get you off now. Ooh, everything sticks to these gloves. Alright, get this cured. Like I said, it's not fully cured. That's why I need to, um, oh, wait a minute. Does that already have a top on? Oh, yeah, that's the peacock blue. And this is the purple. Okay. So, this is the gold top, okay. Alright, so now I need the blue bag. Try to get this done right this time without missing. Ooh. Alrighty, let's see. A little bit more right in there. Get this cured up before it starts moving on me. Alright, so let's see. Then I think I'm going to do some of the peacock blue maybe just on some of those wings oh, what, do I want to I think I will you know what I think I'm going to use some peacock blue and then some green and then leave this for the mica powder Yeah, or chameleon powder not the mica powder I'm losing it okay so I'm going to do the peacock blue next yeah. 
and then I will do the oh, I'm gonna have to pick it up to see this yeah Okay, I'm not too much worried about the middles of those getting thing because mica powder is going to go in that middle section. So I'm not really too concerned about that. And why does it look like my blue shrunk? Or I didn't get it all the way. I think I need a little more blue. Yeah, just right in here. I need. I didn't get it all the way. So let me put a little bit more blue just right in here yeah there we go yep there we go so a little bit more blue right there didn't get it apparently all the way up to the little thing all right and this is the peacock and put a little dot right there and maybe a little bit right here all righty and that would be good for that Okay, now what was we going to do? We're going to do the green. Yeah. Going to do the green on the little section here on this one. And hummingbirds are so beautiful and very colorful. Okay, come on. Wee bit more. I'm not really worried about every little speck getting into everything because everything's going to be mica powdered. So, yeah. I'm gonna get you right there. All right, let's see here. Okay, the, oh, there's a, I think that's a little bitty bubble right there, if I'm not mistaken. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I got it. Little bubble trying to creep in there. The little bubble. The little bubble. Trying to creep up in there. Okay, so next, let's see, I was going to do the green and some of the body as well. Oops. Okay, so let's see, we've got red. Oops, I forgot to put the top on him. I'm just shaking away, Lord, like there ain't no tomorrow. Okay, so I think I'm going to get this in red. And there go a bubble. I know I'm shaking them, you really shouldn't, but... They kind of do pop on their own, like that one just popped by itself there. So it's not that bad. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And I knocked over my light. Knocked over my resin. I got to get the sides going up there. Knocking over everything. I'm going to just leave that on and turn it sideways or on top of itself. 
I picked up the wrong one. I picked up the gr Oh, well, you know what? It's fine. Green tit is. It ain't going to kill nothing. Just be a little blended there. It's not going to kill it. Hummingbirds, all their colors kind of blend anyway. That will be just fine. Let me make sure I get the green because I need a little bit more in here. That will be just fine. He will be just fine. I will go up the other side with the red though. Oops, is he going over? He's jumping ship, people. I think I put a little too much in there. Yes, I did. They ain't even fully cured. I put so much in there and didn't realize it. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me make sure I grab the red this time and go on and finish up this side here. Yep, go on and finish this side up. Alright, I think I'm going to put blue right here. Uh, actually, where's the peacock blue? That's the one I want right there. I'm going to put the peacock blue right in here. light real quick oh lord I would have to turn it on I guess I turned it off I guess I turned it off got a little bubble right there there we go you don't want to cooperate okay Alright, get a little bit more of this peacock blue in here. There we go. Where did that green come from? Am I losing my marbles? Well, I was going to do it green, so yeah. Okay. I think I'm putting too much in. Yeah, it, it's just squeezing oh, out too much. And that's my fault. I'm getting a little heavy handed here. I'm getting a little bit heavy handed. But that's so. Alright, I'm just trying to set a little bit of this for a moment here before I continue. Just a wee bit here. Oh. Alrighty, let's see here. I'm going to do the green. Where's the green? Okay, there you are. I'm going to do the green all in here. Uh, I think my light is croaking. I think I need a battery change.
because I want this little vine here green. green right there. I need some up the side as well. Oh, why do I feel like that's a bubble? It is. Alright, what else? Um, oh, I need some right in there. There is a little bubble trap. There's a few of them, actually. And I'm going to just go on and pull him right out because there is a bubble caught in there. Okay. And I did not catch that bubble. Did not catch the bubble. Okay, so actually, I think I'm going to change plans. I'm going to put a little bit of green in here. Just right in here. I'm not worried about nothing else. Okay. A little bit of green. Yeah. Get it in here all the way to the thing. And then I'm going to take some of the peacock blue and kind of get him in here as well and let him blend with the green a little bit here yeah okay just let him green blend with that green for a minute here that way they can blend out on their own. And like I said, once I get everything on here, I've just basically got this and the little bit of tail. I don't think I'm going to put any UV in the tail. I really don't. I think I'm going to just leave it because the mica powder is going to cover it. Okay, now I think I'm going to do some dark blue in here just a little color shift yeah alright I have to go up his sides and we will be ready to mica powder him or chameleon powder him Oh, there's a freaking bubble. Hopefully, uh, it wasn't set long enough to where I couldn't get it out. Thank goodness. Alrighty, yay. Oh, where's the blue? Uh, I gotta get in here a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I gotta get up in there a little bit.
starting to think I need an, another UV light because this one is seems like it's not working like it used to for some reason. go oops right here okay that cured on there almost done and then we can mica powder him Okay, what was I doing? The green. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit more green. Where's my thing at? Right in here. Yeah. Get you up under there, and then I need the um peacock blue back. Yeah, because I gotta finish up this side here with the peacock blue. I'm not sure if that's supposed to go around there, but it's going around there today. I'm not sure. Yeah, let me get a little more green in this one. Since I got the UV going here. A little bit more green right there. Not you, Mr. Bubble. Okay. You know what? I'm not even going to do that one. Yeah. I'm going to leave it be. And we are going to mica powder him now. And get this started. Oops. Okay. That. Oh, this one don't go to this one. Hold up. That goes to the larger one. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, that one, that one. Oh, God, I screwed the thing to it. Okay. Where did you go, buddy? We're missing a top, and I don't see it nowhere. Okay, let me go on. We are going to mica powder his bootay. Yes, we are. We're going to mica powder him. I don't know why I'm shaking mica powder, but oh, okay. Don't know why, but I was. Alright, where is my favorite brush of all time? Okay, so now we are just going to, let me make sure I get, yeah, I mean that's good, I don't want to UV resin everything, because we are just going to lightly brush this on because I don't want to disturb the UV resin that I have in here. I do not want to dislodge it. That's what I mean. I do not want to dislodge the mica powder. 
I mean the UV resin. I can't can't think today. What's wrong with you, Sheila? Ooh. Big puff. Puff. Okay. And I think I told you um, the mold holds four ounces and my resin is ready to go. I'm using the regular cure resin today that way I knew it was going to take a little time here and we have time with the regular resin not the quick demold resins or anything I started to use the polyurethane resin but I'm going to use that tomorrow on the next mold that I do and I can't wait to do this mold tomorrow start to do it day but I had to measure it with water and let it dry it holds like 22 and a half ounces of resin but I think yeah I should have enough of the polyurethane resin for that I'm gonna use the polyurethane resin tomorrow all right I'm gonna dust this out over the trash can light to me actually I'm gonna just blow it out I do not want to mess with my microfibers okay so now I'm gonna get I'm the chameleon powder I keep saying my powder now I'm, I'm gonna just get some black in here and get him all stirred up yeah he's nice and toasty now he's not super warm but he's warm and he's sticking it up so I think it was a little took me a little bit there but yeah we're gonna pour him and we are gonna come back and demold him make sure I've got all the mica powder mixed up in there Alrighty, we are just gonna pour him. I think he needs a little help in the beak area. Okay, let me see here. Yeah, like I said, my resin is starting to thicken up on me. Because it's starting to cure. It has taken me a minute. I am not going to lie to get this UV resin in here. Okay, I mixed up four ounces. Oh, you know what? I forgot about the mic. I mean, not the mica powder. I forgot about the, um, dang it, the um, UV resin took up a little space. Yeah. So I probably didn't need as much. So I just scoop some out. There we go. Yeah, cause he's running over in the head a little bit there. I'll just scoop some out. He runneth over. Okay. Oops.
feel like it should have had some support up under here and it doesn't you know how some molds yeah because it just feels like it needs some support up under there I'm probably going to mess this up by putting more in okay we's looking good right there I believe some of these macro bubbles out of here oh and since I've got some resin left over where oh where did I put that frog mold I'm gonna do another frog hopefully I have enough for one I'm gonna just mica powder him Uh, to keep saying mica powder I am going to dust him with some of this chameleon powder from Litz Resin Ooh, got it. it's all went down his eyeballs I don't think I have enough for two frogs but I can at least do one because I want to see what it looks like with the mica powder the chameleon powder so yeah hopefully I have enough for one little foggy. Let me get him all straight there. And if not, then no, I don't have enough for the froggy. Oh well. I can just fill him up with the next project. But at least I started on him. I started on him. I will just fill him up as I go then. Yes, I will. I will fill him up as I go. Who the resin is really getting thick now. I think this took me a little bit longer than I thought it was. Yeah. And this, like I said, the mold, it's like it needs a head support for some reason. And yes, it came from Timu. And sometimes their molds are wacky. And his head keeps falling down. And that's the only thing. Yeah, the head, this head part is no support. Literally. Oh yeah, you know what? There is no support up under this part at all. Wow. I just realized that there is literally no support up under there. Okay, I think that might be too much, but no. Okay, so if you get this mold, make sure you put a little something up under here just to support right here because there's literally no support in here. Just a little piece at the beak and then another support here. But as far as, yeah, because there is no support from here to here, and it just kind of goes down. It sinks. Oh, there goes someone at the door. My puppy dog is letting me know. All right, you guys, we will be back to demold this beautiful little, little hummingbird when it cures. See you soon. All right, everyone, we are back to demold the hummingbird. And instead of making up more resin for the froggy, I threw some black rocks in the middle. And we're going to unmold him first just to see how, ooh, pretty. See how he turned out. He turned out good. And I didn't put any eyes in him this time. I will shine him up because it is a dull mold. Very pretty. Okay, hopefully, I'm not, I can't remember if this was a dull mold or not. But let's see how our beautiful little hummingbird, very easy to take out the mold, I will say that. Ooh, he got a little overage. Very easy to take out the mold. Well, okay. Ooh, pretty. 
very pretty. He turned, oh, I love it. He turned out so beautiful. Yes, he did. Look at the sparkle. Well, the shine, not the sparkle. He turned out so pretty. Yes, he did. Just got a little clean up on the edge. Just not a lot. Not a lot. Some little bit. And we backed him in the, um, in the black so we could see all his pretty colors from the color changing. Very pretty. I like this mold. This is a very nice mold. His little gold feet and beak. And I, what did I say? I think I, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I said that this mold holds four ounces. Yeah, the hummingbird mold holds four. Mr. F Toad Frog holds two for each froggy. But yeah, he turned out so beautiful. I love it. And the the resin worked really good. I see I missed a little spot of the resin right in here, but that's okay. That's all good. It's still very, very pretty. Very pretty. And the per the red almost looks purple with the color change in there. Cause we uh, used no, that is the purple. Yeah, I used the red there and on the dots. Yeah, very pretty. He turned out lovely. Such a beautiful little hummingbird. I like this mold. Really, really do. That was my old ridge from the frog. He went spilling out. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video of our hummingbird and little purple toad. But yeah, I really like that. It looks really nice. I hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And have a blessed day. Bye.